And 7 News always investigating. Tonight we're uncovering new information about the Memorial Day attack in Westminster, which police have linked to Jessica Ridgway's accused murderer. Only on 7 News, Marshall Zellinger live at Kentner Lake. And you found new audio showing just how close Westminster police were to SIG after that lake attack. Yeah, police radio traffic from that day reveal where the female victim waited for police here on countryside at this stoplight. And the audio also reveals where police were setting up a perimeter as Austin Sig's home was just a quarter mile down this path. At 1.25 p.m. on Memorial Day, police get a call from a woman saying she was nearly abducted while jogging at Kettner Lake. She put a rag over her, her mouth and then hit her. She just did a V rag, so like chloroform. One officer raced to meet the victim near the lake. At 1.30, three other officers started a search for the suspect. See if we set up this perimeter and make him hunker down. We'll need one car at the uh, middle school, 100th and countryside. One more fire station number five, and then one more to the west. Seven News mapping out the area and finding Austin Sig's home just inside where police were looking. I was last seen southbound on the path at Kettner Reservoir from the traffic light on countryside. This is where the victim waited for police at a light here off of Countryside. There's a path that the suspect was seen running south, and Austin Sig's home is over here. Now, police were setting up a perimeter. First, they had someone at Wayne Carl Middle School. They had someone else on the east side here at Fire Station Number 5. And at 1.33, eight minutes after the initial call, they set someone up at 103rd and Oak. Austin Sig lives half a mile away. Police arrested Sig at his home Tuesday. Sources tell Call 7 investigators he confessed to the Jessica Ridgway murder. Police say they have evidence linking the Ridgway suspect to the Kettner Lake attack. And both of those so both both of those scenes rather also are evident as we turn 180 degrees around here. Uh, we're looking toward Kettner Lake. You can see the remembrances here for Jessica Ridgway, uh, the purple ribbons on this stoplight, even on the trees throughout this area. Again, uh, two different crimes, uh, both accused, uh, uh, Austin Sig accused right now of both crimes, and it's evident of remembrances here. Uh, a little bit of both. Reporting live in Westminster, Marshall Zellinger, 7 News.